The housing market recovers from the collapse. Some investors are getting back into flipping homes. They're buying up vacant and foreclosed homes and turning them into cash. The night team's Tim Gerber talks to a local flipper and his investor about the do's and don'ts of flipping a home. Next, we removed all the carpet and existing flooring. Greg Hoppe has bought this home for under $100,000 at the end of December. It needed quite a bit of updating and remodeling, but it's nearly ready for the new owners. Hoppus estimates he spent about $50,000 renovating the home that he will be able to flip for a nice profit. It'll be enough to keep me moving forward with, with future projects. Hoppus started flipping houses back in 2008, just as the housing market collapsed. But his background in construction and home building helped him survive the crash. Luck played a big factor. Um, support from family and friends played a big factor. It's a great way to make some extra cash. Aaron Culleton works for Net Worth Realty. He says the local market is recovering and is ripe for investors. The last couple years, I think things have gotten stronger. A lot more people are starting to get involved in the game. As long as you can buy the property at the right price, uh, you know, it's basically the name of the game. But house flipping isn't for everyone. It does take a lot of work. You need to make sure you have enough money on hand for closing and to carry a property if it doesn't sell. You also need to make sure that you make frequent site visits to keep tabs on that project and make sure you know the market so that you don't end up over-renovating a property and be prepared for things to go wrong. Things do arise sometimes in these properties considering some have been vacant for years, foreclosures, whatever the case may be. You have to be smart, you have to do lots of research, you have to, there's luck involved, but um, yeah, if you do the, the work up front, you can definitely make a, make a profit. Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News.